Hello guys, it's Anders. So today we're going to have a look at the overview of IK Multimedia's new multi-sampled synth plugin, which is a monster, Syntronic, which is actually 38 different classic synths, multi-sampled massively. Um, the, the library for it is absolutely huge, it's about 50 gig. Luckily, you don't have to download it all in one go. You can pick the synth you want and download just those parts. But what we're going to do is go over the overview of it, how it's all laid out, what we can do with it, and then obviously we're going to have a listen to some of the sounds on it. So let's have a look at this bad boy. Go. <laughs> Okay guys, so here we are with Syntronic open up for the first time. Now, what we see first here is a nice list of synths down the left hand side. Filters, which is actually the category filters for different uh, presets that are already here. And then the actual presets down the middle and then sort of a explanation of what sort of synth is gonna be used for that preset, how big the patch is going to be a description for it and then you have a favoriting option down here now when you install this plugin these are all the presets that show up um, just this few dozen here okay there is a 50 gig download library that needs to be downloaded and installed for all the other patches I will go over how to do that in the following video this is just going to be an introduction to what you get and how to go about using Syntronic for the first time. Now, like with most plugins, we can double click and it's going to load our presets. So right here, we've got this sweeper. Paper. One thing I did forget to mention in the intro, there is a completely free version of Syntronic that you're able to go and download from IK Multimedia right now. I will link that in the description. You may as well go and grab it and have some free patches because so far these are sounding absolutely fantastic. Now, if we double click on a, another patch, we can open that. And you see there's a short loading time here where it grabs the new samples and now the new patch is loaded. <laughs> some fun with that now there's some things that are slightly unusual about this layout obviously we've just got the presets here if we were to then click on a after we've loaded one it's going to give us the layout of that particular plugin that we have loaded so here we've got this uh, bully three saw loaded and now if we are to click on here we'll be able to see that particular plugin and we can edit it from there and each of the 38 that are emulated all have their own GUI based on the originals. Now further over here to the left of the A, B and C we've got this. Now this is pretty much your layering system so you can have split keys for example if you're playing on a full 88 strip you can have uh, preset A just play down here on this lower octave and then you could layer the other three together or you can create layered stacks that are only available in certain octaves which is a really great feature it's going to allow you to create really deep and in-depth patches as well as fantastic performance patches so you can do a lot with a single uh, session on the keyboard just by switching up to different octaves you can then obviously set the values of that plugin so playing in a higher octave may not trigger a higher octave of a different sound it will in fact trigger the area that you are wanting to play so you could play the lower octaves of two instruments for example but with two different octaves on your keyboard now i only work on a really small desk so i have a small key set so i've only got two octaves available to me so for example i could have two things set up to two different octaves and get that or i could layer 
um, one to be on one octave and then have two synths to play on the higher octave and thus giving me access to a lot more playability. It's really nice to have that introduced. Now if we go across the top here we can obviously see we've got the preset menus here. We can just click that and then we can also get a list of the presets rather than having that preset view like we had before. If we click on the little image next to that it will bring us back to this with the full explanation and we're able to see the different synths there down the side. Continuing across the top we've got the fader section here. Now these are dependent for each A, B, C and D in volume, pan and then obviously we have the masters. We can mute them as well. Next is the effects section. We're going to go into that in much more depth in another video. However, there are a huge number of effects also included in Syntronic, so you can really manipulate the sound as much as you want, all within the plugin itself. And they're using lots of IK Multimedia's um, emulations that already exist. For example, the white 2A here is going to be the LA 2A emulation from IK Multimedia included inside this plugin, which is a fantastic addition. We then have an arpeggiator, and arpeggiator is also per loaded um, sampler, per loaded synth, apologies, for A, B, C and D. So you can have a multitude of different arpeggiations going on or you can have something non-arpeggiated as well as something arpeggiated layered with it. Then obviously we have our settings, which we're not going to dive into here. And then we have a little shopping cart. Now this is for people who perhaps are using the free version and want to purchase just one of the other synths. As you'll currently see, most of these say uh, not installed for me because I have yet to go through the 50 gig download and install them. I'm going to be doing a video for each individual synth here and we'll be going through those. But when you install them, it will obviously say installed. Uh, in the case where you don't own them and you're just using the free version, it gives you the option to purchase here. They're currently all listed at 49 euros. I don't know if that is subject to change at all, but that seems a fair amount for each individual synth there. So I think let's just have a listen to some of these patches. Um, one thing to note is the interesting drift engine that's introduced in this plugin. What the drift engine is doing, it's taking the samples that we've got and then going in between the frequency spectrum where you would expect it to be. So in a lot of these old synths, you'd be able to play a single key and it would hold that note really well. However, when you introduced another key or you moved to another one, it wouldn't be able to replicate that frequency perfectly and it would wobble ever so slightly. So if you think we've got our 20,000 hertz, this is going to wobble ever so slightly because there are points between those hertz. You can have 1.1 hertz. See, a hertz is only one cycle per second. If a second was measured at a different length of time, one hertz would be a different length. So you have the point values between it, and this drift engine is drifting these frequencies in and out ever so slightly only where appropriate to give an authentic sound and so far it means each time you press a key it's minutely different um, and depending on the other keys you press with it it's changing consistently and it's giving a really nice sound so far so I'm just going to play a couple of these patches we're going to fade the video out and I'm going to go into the next video for you guys which is going to be the setup install how to download everything as well so enjoy <laughs> 